Hello viewers, in my previous video I discussed regarding the IA structure, its types. So in this video I will be discussing regarding the various types of rational agents. So there are five different types of rational agents in artificial intelligence. So first of all, uh, before moving on to this uh, topic, let us discuss what is a rational agent. So rational agent is that particular agent which does the right thing or the right action at the right situation. Means it considers uh, its input uh, conditions as well as the surrounding conditions and then it acts upon uh, corporately. So first of all, uh, let's move on to this diagram. So the very first type of agent is simple reflex agent in the context of rational agents. So like in the previous video, uh, we have this agent as well as this environment. So this agent consists of sensors which percepts something from the environment as well as actuators which have the limbs or motors to act upon it, uh, on it, uh, the environment. So now in that diagram, uh, one main difference in this is uh, I have eliminated that question mark and for simple reflex agent, I have put this flowchart. So this flowchart represents the simple reflex agent. So how it should work, uh, the entire thing is based by this. So that question mark actually is the logic. So that logic is represented by this flowchart. So let's understand this. So in this, you can see basically two different notations. So first is the square box, which represents the state of the system or the state of the agent and this square, uh, circular uh, rectangle represents the external behavior which we can uh, make to act uh, act upon this uh, particular state. So let's move on to the very first state. So uh, after getting some sense or after perceiving the environment uh, from the senses which it has, uh, it will first uh, feed those values to the first state. So what the first state says is that what the world is like now. So right now at the initial stage, is, uh, agent does not have any uh, understanding or agent does not have any kind of knowledge regarding its environment. So uh, then it will first interrogate what the world is like now means uh, it should have to create its own knowledge base. So for that, it would ask these kinds of questions to the external uh, environment in fact. So external environment would be like human beings which would be giving some knowledge base to this agent. So that it will uh, perceive and then process it and store it in its memory base. Next, after getting uh, pretty much understanding about the environment or the world, then it will further move. Then it will ask, what action should I do now? Means, uh, although I've got some uh, inputs or how the environment looks like, what are there around me? And so it will ask, what action should I do now? So for that, you need to provide a driving uh, support for that. So that is basically condition action rules in this. So it is called as CA rules. There are many kind of CA libraries in uh, designing an agent. So one of that uh, CA rules, for example, let us take if then CA rule. So it states that, uh, take an example I will give. So if hand is in fire, then you have to pull it away. Otherwise you will uh, get burnt. So that is one kind of knowledge which we can learn so that if we input into this condition action rule and if we drive it to what action should I do now, it will produce or it will make its actuators work in that way. Means next time whenever it perceives an environment and if uh, it senses that environment is very hot, then it will learn from this knowledge base which it has and it will rule uh, basically from this uh, CA libraries and it will uh, like act like this if hand is in fire or if it senses its uh, body temperature or uh, other external surrounding is in uh, hot condition then it will pull it away immediately so that's kind of knowledge learning uh, with this simple reflex agent but not uh, completely learning is that it's like the agent should be uh, able to completely see the environment so it is suitable only for fully observable environment in this case so if it does not have any fully observable environment, what is going around it, it cannot act wisely. So now it is capable of mapping the current percepts to the action and not based on past perception. Now uh, it is like uh, this agent will learn, not learn, it will produce uh, its kind of actions to accomplish those tasks based upon this uh, current inputs which are giving uh, you for this right now means uh, it will not store any knowledge base uh, in fact like uh, in previous case if it uh, did some kind of activities similarly it will not store in its memory base and it flush it out immediately and so whatever current inputs or the current experiences you are giving or the current inputs you are giving to this agent it will act based upon that 
and it requires only the condition action rules for this like uh, only one at a time condition action rule can be placed on it means only one if then condition or some other condition can be put to the ca rules now likewise you have many kinds of ca libraries which can be set for different different rules so that if certain kind of situation it encounters in the future then and if it checks whether in the ca libraries it has those kinds of set of ca rules and the agent will know how to act upon uh, those situation with minimalistic reasoning so uh, it basically speeds up to the agent for act upon the environment so it's simply simple reflex like uh, in human beings we do if we sense any hot thing or if any hot iron is there and if it uh, senses our skin then we immediately takes our hand out back so well that's about the uh, simple reflex agent in artificial intelligence so hope you enjoyed this video from this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching this video